Hello everyone, this is Shane with Repair Desk. We're going to be looking at special orders for Repair Desk today. Um, we're going to run you through uh, doing a special order if the part is out of stock and if the part is not even in the inventory at all. Uh, you may be new to Repair Desk or uh, using a trial or, or maybe like myself when you first started using Repair Desk you didn't uh, like uh, the special orders and uh, I came back to it about three or four months ago and uh, started utilizing it and I absolutely love it at this point. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is your, your client walks through the door, you're going to put John Doe into your system or your client and then uh, he has a mobile iPhone 6 and he's coming in for a digitizer and LCD replacement and it's a black LCD so we're going to go ahead and select that one and press next uh, you're going to fill out your normal stuff, uh, condition checklist, what have you. Uh, what we normally do is whoever whoever has taken the client in, uh, whether it be at the front counter or over the phone, we do special orders over the phone as well, uh, they're going to leave it assigned to themselves. Um, special orders is kind of a two-part, uh, two parts. it's kind of in two parts. Um, if you have a lobby full of people, you probably won't do the second part right away. Uh, so what we do is have them assign it to themselves, and then later on when they have extra time or they're in the back end, they will search their own tickets, finish the special order, and then reassign it to whoever it needs to be reassigned to if that's the case. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit confirm. Uh, if you can, uh, you'll want to get prepayment since it's a special order. Uh, sometimes you can't. Uh, in our case, we're going to go ahead and click Create Ticket. And that part is done. So you could move on to the next client, uh, or you could go to the ticket and go ahead and do uh, what I call the second part. Um, once you get to the ticket you're just going to hit view and like I said you can do this right after uh, in between customers or like I said if we're, if we're busy we'll wait and do it on the back end when when that when that person gets some time uh, so the one, first thing I want you to notice is right here this in progress status and then right here you're going to see part order so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click part order and you can see that uh, this particular part is using a uh, an item from Mobile Centrix, uh, so you could hit save, or you could go ahead and, and check out with Mobile Centrix. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit save, and and so now at this point the purchase order is is completed. Um, one thing you'll want to notice, and I'm going to refresh my page. Is since we created that purchase order against this ticket uh, you can no longer create another one but it also changed it uh, to waiting from parts from in progress and what just happened is if you have these on um, it just sent them a notification uh, that your repair is paused basically and we're waiting on parts to repair repair your device um, it's a really neat feature because you're communicating with the client without ever picking up a phone and it kind of keeps them in the loop and, and keep them from calling you. Um, that doesn't always work. Sometimes um, a client will get a text and immediately call. Uh, it's not every one of them, but every now and then. And you can adjust these and, and we are slowly adjusting these notifications to, to try to keep that from happening when it does happen. Um, so that's a really neat feature. Um, so the part has been ordered. and you can see that right here um, and we're going to since it is ordered we're going to change that into uh, in progress and then we're going to go ahead and add payment now adding payment is important because if you don't um, as you keep getting purchase orders they will not fall off the screen so you always have to add payment uh, in order to get it to fall off the screen after the goods re received notes been made. So now the part is coming in and we are going to create a goods received note. 
uh, you're going to check your quantities and click save and print a label if you need and and that part is done so we're going to go back to um, the ticket and you'll notice it still says waiting for parts the uh, once the goods received notice is made it doesn't change the status but it does send out another notification uh, your special order part is in stock and you can turn again turn these off and on you can adjust uh, the messages that are sent out um, so again you're getting another another line of communications without picking up a phone so that would uh, clue them in that the part is here if their device is not in the shop then they should bring it in one thing that we do is if um, we would generally leave it waiting for parts for a couple of days and then at some point we will change it to waiting on customer if we have not heard from them and what that does is send them another message this one right here uh, that we have customized our own and uh, basically says several different things but one of those is that uh, hey you know we're waiting on you to bring your your phone in so we can can repair it and, th and that's if the device is not there the other thing we will do after about five days especially if they didn't prepay uh, we will set it to canceled and again um, we'll set it to canceled uh, sometimes uh, most of the time we'll go ahead and remove the part from the from the ticket so it puts it back into inventory and uh, change the task to uh, a special order uh, a custom um, um, under inspection check the task would be special order um, just a custom a uh, custom one uh, to pull it off that repair um, then uh, what happens is it sends them another one it says oops your device cannot be repaired um, we've actually changed ours it says it says that as well and or um, your repair has been canceled and parts sent back to the vendor um, usually what will happen if it was a, a non prepay person they will call in within an hour saying hey you know don't send my parts back I will be over there tomorrow uh, probably eight out of ten times that is what what will happen so that's a neat little trick that we're using currently and uh, as as we develop our uh, notifications uh, you know that may change in the in the future um, but these are the, the the defaulted the way it comes with the trial um, so that's basically it you know the the client would come back in or if the device is already there um, you go ahead and finish the repair and you know mark it as repaired and then again they get another notification telling them their you know their device is ready for pickup um, I really love the notifications aspect of repair desk because it, it cuts down a lot of talking time people calling in and uh, so you can work and uh, get more things done okay so for the second one the second way of doing it uh, would be a part that's not in, in inventory so again John Doe walks in the door uh, this time uh, he has a mobile uh, but he has a Motorola so we're gonna go ahead and add a manufacturer and I'm just gonna call it Moto and there's no device so I'm going to add a um, XT1650 and go ahead and select it and there's no issue so I'm going to make a new issue Uh, you can fill all these out the way you want to the way I'm doing it is just quickly for the video <coughs> and save it
placement of LCD. And then uh, we don't have a part. So I'm going to add a part. And this is where I kind of fell off with special orders. At the time, uh, about a year ago, uh, we were using a different system that didn't track anywhere near as good as RepairDesk does. Um, but I was stuck use, doing it the old way. Um, and I, I, at the time, I couldn't imagine my me or my guys standing in front of a customer filling out this information. Um, as time went on, and, and I looked at it before I uh, pushed pushed it uh, pushed it to being used in the shop. Uh, I got to thinking, you know, it's not it's not that big of a time killer. Uh, plus, it also gives your guys up front or yourself more time to talk to the client, and possibly even upsell them on more stuff and get to know your client. Um, so, the part name. Uh, so, what we're going to do is again using Mobile Centrix. We're going to go find the XT1650. Uh, I'm going to use the 01 in this case. And what we do is very quickly, we basically just copy and paste everything. Um, it's a lot quicker than you think. Uh, select type. Um, Parts, you may have your categories done a little bit differently, new, uh, retail price, uh, I'm going to add this, the, uh, the number. make sure you select supplier if you're using integrations uh, so that's basically all we would do at the front counter is the name parts new uh, retail price cost price and then uh, flip over to other information and add the code and the supplier and then I'm gonna click Save so quickly this is already this has been added to the inventory and uh, when I first started using repair desk, I do is I do have one guy that daily checks the inventory um, list. And uh, for example, he would run across that part. He would re rewrite the name of the part to better fit the way we search internal internally at the shop. Uh, he would also add a photo and make any corrections that are that are needed. Uh, that's something we do. You don't have to do. Uh, we just we do that to keep the inventory nice and clean uh, so now we're going to select next fill out your normal stuff um, again we will leave it to the leave it assigned to the person that is doing the ticket uh, you don't have to do it that way these are just methods that we've developed and, and they will change probably as time goes on uh, so we're going to click confirm uh, check out if you're wanting to take prepayment on the uh, on this on this repair uh, obviously, if, if you're doing this over a phone call, you wouldn't be able to, and then you can create the ticket and move on to the next customer, uh, and then go back and finish it on the back end, or you can go ahead and do that now. It's basically the same as as the uh, first portion. So we're going to view. Again, notice that in progress, part order, click to proceed. I have 11 in stock. I'm going to hit save, or you could go ahead and check out. And you can notice it automatically flipped to waiting for parts and sent those, those messages out. Um, and then of course when the part comes in you can create the good goods receive note and again uh,
they just got the uh, special order in stock messages. Uh, again, keeping that communication. And the status did not change. And like I said, after a couple of days, we will change it to waiting on customer if the device is not there. And then uh, after five or six days, of course, especially if they didn't prepay, we'll change it to canceled using our own custom notifications. Um, special orders is, is not a big deal in this system. I know when I first looked at it, it seemed like a big deal. Uh, but, you know, one Monday night we had a... a um, a meeting at the shop and the next day Tuesday morning you know it was the only way to do it from that point on and it is not a big deal uh, literally uh, copy and pasting from a vendor site whether it be mobile centrix Amazon eBay um, it takes seconds it's not a big deal to fight fight it go ahead and do it and then what you'll have is a very very uh, nice and neat way of taking special orders and tracking them through the special orders page. Um, it, it's a big game changer once you can do your special orders in the fashion that Repair Desk does it. You just have to get used to uh, the extra little time it takes to add inventory. Um, special orders with inventory that's already there is, is a breeze. I don't know why anyone would not do it. Uh, where I fell off is where I had to enter all the inventory in at the front counter while looking at a customer. And, and like I said, basically I just got over it and we uh, started utilizing that time to talk to the client, get to know them better and upselling them as well. So you would actually uh, potentially make more money uh, by giving yourself more time with the client. So it just makes sense in the end. Um, but I hope that this video helps you understand uh, how to run those special orders. Um, like I said, it's very neat. And I uh, hope it helps you guys out a lot. Thanks.